I'm going to tell you something happened yesterday. You know, honestly, I think there's a couple of things. Um, the reason I think people liked it is because it was a different type of story. It's not what they normally see on TV. It was a trade yesterday between the Utah Jazz and the Brooklyn Nets. A very strange trade. A very strange trade. You know, one of the great things about First Take is that the A Block is really long. It's totally different than all the rest of our shows. And so that was a factor that allowed me to have some room. Why would the Jazz do that? Why would the Jazz, who have two stars on their roster, mm -hmm. take a player who's one of their starters and best defensive players and trade him in a salary dumping move? Why would they do that? To open what? up space to try to land Kevin? No. When you're telling a story like that, it essentially becomes a podcast. And I have a lot of experience doing podcasts. That's the type of story that you would tell or a type of sort of scenario that you would tell on a podcast. And even when I'm doing podcasts that are, even before we put podcasts on video, I would be sitting in this room, my podcast studio alone. Um, sometimes I used to do them in the dark because I like doing them in the dark. And I would be demonstrative with my hands, even though nobody was in the room, which is kind of the way I talk. Not normally, but some of the way I talk when I'm talking about the NBA. And so it really just, you caught me, uh, I fell into doing a podcast. It just happened to be on first take in, uh, you know, about a subject that had some mystery to it. And I think um, you put all those things together and I think people liked it. Very rare for a first time head coach to get a five year contract. Why? What's going on in Utah? If I had a favorite, it would probably be the Target one, only because I'm hoping the Target will now call with a lucrative endorsement contract. And in that particular case, I would be willing to take that call, Target. Thank you very much.